What's going on? It's Kev Obato, and I'm back with episode number two of switching from Windows to Bazite for 30 days. Now, I hinted in the first video that we were going to be adding the RGSX games downloader to Bazite, and I am here to follow through with that promise. It took some fighting and it took a sleepless night, but here it is. And you know me. Let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video. All right, I'm back over here on my Bazite machine. This is actually a second Bazite machine because it took a lot of playing around with my first build to get it to work. I had to flash a fresh build and show you all how it's done. Now, for anyone who did not watch the first episode, in the first episode, I flashed Bazite, obviously, and then I proceeded to install Emudeck. Emudeck is a software that's going to allow us to open Emulation Station. It adds RetroArch. It adds a bunch of standalone emulators. It just makes our retro gaming and some modern gaming experience better. So if you watched the last video or if you're just ahead of the game and you already have Bazite installed and you already have Emudeck installed, we can go ahead and get into the steps that we need to take to install RGSX. The first step is going to be to go down to the link in the description. That's the link to the RGSX Discord page and we need to download a specific file from there. So sorry for running my mouth so much. Let's go ahead and get on to installing RGSX on Bazite. So like I was telling you before, the link will be in the description to the RGSX Discord server. You need to come in here. All you've got to do is search Bazite. Once you search Bazite, just look for this message here. You can click it to jump to it. And it'll be a message with the instructions to install this if you don't feel like watching this whole video and the ports folder that we need. So go ahead and download that. I'll close out of Discord and we'll continue. All right, now that you have that ports folder, before we do anything with that, go ahead and open up your terminal and then type in the command that you see on the screen. It should be brew install python at 3.12. And then all you've got to do is hit enter. You'll let it do its thing. Once it's done, you'll be back to a line like this where you can type exit and click enter and that will close out of the terminal. So now that you have installed Python, we can go ahead and extract the ports folder. I've got it here on the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and extract it now. Once it's extracted, you'll have the ports folder like this. You should have all this here with it extracted. Go into it and look for this icon here. It'll say rgsx.sh. And we're going to right click that. We're going to go down to properties. Then we're going to go over to permissions. And we just want to make sure that everything looks like what you see on the screen now. Specifically, allow executing file as program. Go ahead, check that box, click OK. All right, so once you have added that permission to the rgsx, Dot sh we are going to head to home and now if you made a custom directory when you installed emu deck then this might be different for you but it should be something similar we're looking for our emulation folder and inside of theirs we know where you have your bios roms etc so here we're going to roms and then we're going to scroll down and we're looking for ports all you need to do is right click and move to trash that's going to delete that ports folder once that ports folder is deleted, all we're going to do is drag the ports folder. You see here, I have it on my desktop. We're going to drag that or you can copy and paste it. I'm just going to drag it right into here. Now you see it made these glow whenever I'm over top of them. Don't do that or it'll end up a folder inside of a folder. So make sure that it's outside of the folder. Move here or you can copy here, however you want to do it. And then boom, you see I've got a new ports folder here. Now go ahead and open up the ports. Then you're going to open up the RGSX folder. And then we are going to, we're going to right click anywhere in this folder and we're going to click open terminal here. And then we're going to type in just dot forward slash RGSX dot SH. And you're going to click enter. 
And that is going to start a process that will create the virtual environment for you and do all this fancy stuff that I don't know what it's doing. And boom, RGS will pop open for you. And now in the future, I'll go ahead and close out of this. Oh, go to quit RGSX. Now in the future, when you need to open RGSX, it will open for you. So now when I go to Bazite, to games, ESD, and I go up to ports, and I'll launch it. And as you can see, there it goes. Now I'll show you one more nice trick that you might not even have noticed that just happened. So let me close out of this one more time. So in here, when you install the RGSX application to Bazite, as you can see, it says 18 total games, but that's not true. There's only one SH file in here, but it just, it takes the whole folder into account. So if you click select on your controller while you're hovering over the folder, you can go to edit this folder's metadata, and then you can scroll all the way down to where it says folder link. You want to click on that. And then you want to click rgsx.sh. It's really that simple. That's going to link and make sure to save. That's going to link the folder to that .sh file. So once we load it here, I'll show you now. Do, 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 do. Here it is. It'll open right up. So now you won't have that cluttered R RGSX folder. It should launch you straight into the application. And you're good to go. Now you have RGSX installed on your Bazite machine. Let's open it up one more time. I just, I love that it opens up because it took some work to get here because I'm an idiot. I don't know this stuff. So working with a little bit of AI and a little bit of human help, we, <laughs> I got it figured out. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you like what you saw, give the video a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe, come on. I know this is a quick episode for number two, but I know you got everything you needed now that you can install RGSX on your Bazite machine. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know how it goes for you and I'll catch you in the next video. Hold your damn horses. If you stuck around this long, let me shout out my YouTube members very quickly. So shout out to Steve, good old Steve. Shout out to IJ. Shout out to Ian Ludy. Shout out to Coach Foosh. And shout out to RC from NYC. I appreciate you all so much for supporting me. And now, without further ado, get the hell out of here. <laughs>